Alaska is so critical for the United States. You know, Alaska, I visited there one time. I was on assignment as a journalist. They've got vast wilderness. They've got igloos. They've got Eskimos. They've got midnight sun. They've got all sorts of beautiful landscape, glacier flying. But many people don't know that it's actually separated from the rest of the United States by British Columbia and Canada. And it was bought from Russia. Alaska was bought from Russia. And it's critical to America. It's a critical piece of territory. Alaska's location is just, it's everything for our nation's ballistic missile defense system. And, you know, oil and gas, it's the second crude, second largest crude oil producer in the country. So we need to pray for Alaska. People sometimes forget about Alaska, but it's really, really critical that we stand for Alaska uh, in this season. So Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that you are the God of Alaska. You are the God who hears our prayers, and we come to you, God, with a heart of repentance. We ask you to forgive us for the bloodshed in Alaska, for the idolatry in Alaska, with the covenant breaking, with indigenous peoples, the immorality. God, we come and we stand in the gap with identificational repentance for Alaska. We ask you, Lord, to heal the land to forgive the sin of the land in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to protect the border along around the entire state of Alaska, given its proximity to Russia across the Bering Strait. We decree and declare that angels are encamped around the state because there is a remnant who fears the Lord. We decree and declare revival in Alaska, the top of the world. I thank you, Lord, for societal reformation throughout the state of Alaska. I thank you, Lord, for the elections in 2024, that government officials that are elected to serve in the offices there will be uh, righteous, they will be holy, they will advance the kingdom agenda in this great state in the name of Jesus. Let the government in Alaska lead with wisdom, integrity, revelation in the name of the Lord. God, we pray for righteous rulership among state officials in Alaska, that they would make the right choices because when the righteous rule, the city rejoices. We decree justice and righteousness will be the foundation of the great state of Alaska. God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to stop all fentanyl from going into that state. There's a fentanyl crisis in that great state. We ask you to expose every drug trafficking ring in the name of Jesus. Bring them to justice justice in the name of the Lord. Oh God in heaven, we ask you to heal and comfort those who battle with mental health. We know it's dark there much of the time. There's high depression rates. There's high suicide rates. God, I'm asking you to intervene, to let the joy of the Lord be their strength, to help them see past the darkness into the light of your love in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let the gospel run swiftly and let the harvest in Alaska be plentiful in the name of Jesus. Encounter the hearts of those in Alaska with your great love. Send missionaries and evangelists into the harvest fields of Alaska to preach the gospel with signs following in the name of Jesus. We declare the glory of the Lord will be made manifest through the entire state of Alaska. Do what you want to do, God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way in Alaska. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Somebody pick up and pray. Just unmute yourself and begin to pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord God. We come in agreement with that word. We thank you, Father God, for that we can intercede and lift up Alaska to you, Father God, because Alaska is in your on your heart, Lord. And Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. We also want to lift up those Air Force bases, those Air Force bases that are in Alaska. We pray, Father God, that the, the military, Lord God, would be impacted, Lord God, by the, by uh, your, your Holy Spirit, Lord God, that you would bring in, Lord God, those that are ready to minister Mr for Alaska. We ask Holy Spirit that you would breathe upon that nation, upon this uh, state, Father God, the state of Alaska. And we ask, oh God, that you continue to send your authorities, Lord God, to begin to clear out those areas, Father God, where there's high trafficking areas, Lord God. We uh, come in agreement, Lord God, that those areas, Lord God, will be cleared out by the power of your word and your name in the name of Jesus. We ask, Father God, that 
your Holy Spirit would begin to touch the lives, or God, up, upon those uh, the the uh, different cities, or God, the different uh, counties, or God, and that every uh, every educational system, Lord God, that that resides in that area, Lord God, those regions, the educational systems, Lord God, that the fear of the Lord and the beginning of wisdom would rest upon those those uh, uh, the schools, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father God, for righteousness to to just prevail over the nation, the state of. Uh, of Alaska, Father God, and we ask, Lord God, for the favor of God, Lord Jesus, as the, for the for your people, Lord God, to be able to shine for you in that in that state, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that where there is darkness, Lord God, that your light, the light of God, would drive out darkness in the name of Jesus. We ask, Lord God, that you would strengthen those churches, Lord God, those uh, believers, Lord God, those uh, pastors, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh Lord, that you would minister, Father God, to everyone that walks and that goes in and, and travels through Alaska, Lord God, that it would that it would have a new name, Father God, that your name would be known in Alaska. We ask, Holy Spirit, that your name would be known in Alaska, oh God. And we thank you, Father God, that it's not just going to be a place for where people go and travel, Lord God, but the breath of God is going to dwell there and it's going to be strong. And we ask, Lord God, for awakening and revival that you would begin to shake up, Lord God, those churches, Lord God, that the fire of God would begin to come down, that your Holy Spirit would begin to blow, Father God, and that the, there'll be a hunger, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let there be a hunger, Father God. Let the fire of God fall upon the state of Alaska in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Father God, I just want to lift up to you the families in Alaska, Father God. I just ask, Lord, that you would... Um, you would give the family, the parents, the leaders of the household, Lord, uh, visions and dreams, Lord. Let them see how powerful their prayers will be for their children, Father God. I think there are many parents that don't realize, Father God, that the, the danger their families are in and their children, Lord, and that it's up to them to pray and, and to fight and to war for their family. So, Lord, I ask that you would just give them an encounter, a supernatural understanding of the need and what it is, Lord, that you would just pour your spirit out on the families, Father God. Put put the the importance into the into the parents, Lord, of raising their children up in a godly way that if they're not shown your way, Father God, that they're going to grow up in the ways of the world, Lord, and that they're going to be lost in there and just show them what to come. Lord, show them what what the difference is, Lord. Let them see the enemy, Father God. Let them see it. Let them see it in the world. Let them see it in their spirit. Let them see it, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring their parents to a boldness, Father God, to protect them, to get into their schools, Father God, that they will go in and stand up for the rights of their children and that they will take a stand and have a say in what their children are learning, what they're being taught, what they're being exposed to, Lord God. Protect them through the parents, Lord Father God, in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this opportunity to come together in unity, Lord Jesus. We lift your name on high at the highest height, Lord, in Alaska. And we say Jesus is king over Alaska. We claim Alaska for you, Jesus, to do great and mighty things for you, the people there, Lord. We know that Alaska has great riches, oil and gold and precious minerals, but the riches that you see are the people, Lord. And we pray blessings over the people to prosper, to find you, Lord. Let their eyes be opened, let their ears be unstopped. God, we are praying, Lord Jesus, that they would turn to you in this time is crucial that they would not delay, Lord Jesus, that that spirit of independence, Lord, would be turned to dependence upon you, Jesus, that they would come under your, into your family, God, Lord Jesus, that they would um, be united in body in the churches lord we buy the pastors there lord we pray that they would come into the fivefold family lord that they would come out of tradition lord jesus that they would be united and sharing lord as in the book of acts yes lord i see that i see lord we thank you jesus for each person, Lord, that is being called there, Lord, that you would make it evident and make it known to, to move and go and do what you have called them to do, the evangelists, the pastors, Lord, to refresh and revive. 
Lord, like the circuit writers, to come in and refresh and revive the churches there, Lord. We praise you, Jesus, that you are doing a mighty work, Lord, and we are going to hear reports from Alaska. We praise you, Jesus, in your mighty name. Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Father God, for the state of Alaska. We thank you for what you're doing there in this hour, Father God. We repent for the bloodshed and the immorality in that place. We know that whom you set free is free indeed, Father God. So we pray for a setting free, Lord, a restoration, a reconciliation, a healing of that land, Father God, and that you would protect the resources there, the oil and the natural resources, Father God, and that you would send your people there, your evangelists, your missionaries to till the ground and to plow, Father God, to war on your behalf, Lord. We also pray for a hedge of protection on the borders for Alaska, Lord, that they are your ref you are their refuge and their fortress, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that you are healing and restoring, that you're protecting them. We ask you, Father God, according to your will and your way, that you release the warring angels on their behalf to protect the borders, that any plans, plot, and assignments coming against the state of Alaska will be revealed in prophetic intelligence, Father God, as you revealed to the kings that they would have these strategies and they would know ahead of time things that were coming through the prophets, Father God. We pray that uh, the kings in this hour, he, they can hear from you, Lord. So we pray that you would reveal that directly to them and that you would restore any breaches and security, any plans, even in the FBI or any secret agencies, Father God, where people have infiltrated and gone in, Father God, that you would restore with your information, that you would restore and that you would speak life to them through the prophets, Lord. We pray also for open doors for evangelists to go into the state of Alaska, Father God, and that you would have your way in that place, that they would bow down even now and confess that you are the risen Lord, that you are their savior, Father God, and that you will be known in that place like never before in this hour. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, Holy Spirit, I just welcome you right now, um, beloved Jesus and Father God. Lord, I just lift up all the Indigenous First Nation people in um, Alaska, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, you're pouring out your spirit on all flesh. Give them mighty dreams and visions, Lord, in Jesus' name. And that these visions and dreams and the anointing from you, Holy Spirit, they'll be talking amongst themselves. Yes, I got that dream. Yes. Yes, I got that. What's going on? And that, Lord, you're pouring out your spirit upon these First Nation um, Alaskan um, people, Lord. Father, we thank you that you're giving them um, their communities will be transformed, Lord, and um, and that revival and awakening are happening right now as we pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you're transforming individuals, but you're transforming all the little communities, Lord, and that you're bringing them together in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that you are raising up the fivefold, even within the First Nation people there, Lord, in Jesus' name. And that, Lord, we thank you um, for that anointing upon these leaders and anointing um, upon their culture, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Father God, I pray for a blessing over the children and the youth and the young people, um, Lord, in Alaska right now, in Jesus' name, that, Lord, you, Holy Spirit, will teach them all truth as they press into you, Lord, as they come to have a relationship with you, that you're going to show them, Lord, exactly who you are. And Father, we thank you um, for this uh, mighty move of the Holy Spirit coming through this great nation, this great um, nation of Alaska, Lord. Father God, we thank you that all the resources that you have put into the ground will benefit not just Alaska, but the whole of America, Lord, the whole of America, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we give you the glory and we give you the honour and praise. Amen. Amen. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Father God, we thank you for the nation of Alaska. I just want to share something briefly. Last night I was praying concerning Alaska with one of the hub leaders from the USA. And the Lord, the Lord indicated that it was not by error that Alaska is the first state that we are praying about and not Alabama. And so I asked her to check for the prophetic 
prophetic um, destiny of Alaska. And this is what uh, the prayer hub leader sent me. I was elected Alaska. This is from Chuck Pierce, a writing by Dutch Sheets and Chuck Pierce in one of their books that was written in 2005. It says, Alaska is my alpha and omega state. It is where things begin and where things end. Tell my people to move forward and not back into yesterday. Something aborts you from moving into the new and you slip back into the old pattern. Break the circle and move into the new. The Lord says Alaska is the gateway of the nation to the ancient of days. God has assigned Alaska as a sentinel and a vanguard for North America. Alaska will open the doors for the glory of the Lord to sweep through North America. From Alaska, the spirit of God will fall and your people will be sent to train prophets and intercessors. Father God, I thank you for this word that was written way back in 2005. Thank you, Lord God, for this revelation that you gave last night as I interceded with one of the American intercessors. We bless Alaska. We bless this meeting. And Father God, we thank you that just like Jericho was the first city that the children of Israel had to conquer when they came from the wilderness, from the desert, and then the rest of the cities were easier. Father God, I thank you that as we intercede for the government rulership in Alaska, Lord God, that the idols of Alaska will begin to bow down to the name of Jesus. Father God, that the territorial altars that had been standing strong and releasing um, immorality and all kinds of vices over the rest of America, Lord God, that will come to an end. Father God, we lift up all the leaders the political leaders, the leaders in the seven mountains of society. Lord God, we ask that a fresh anointing come upon their seats of authority, Father God, from the smallest office that determines the destiny of Alaskans up to the highest office, Lord. We bless Alaska and we call in the destiny of Alaska. Alaska is a, a rich state. Father God, we come against every altar that has been standing against their destiny, that has kept them in a quagmire, that has kept them in, in, um, in, a, in, a, in a lesser position that, than what they are supposed to be as a state, that has kept them on their own. Lord God, I ask that the favor be shown upon Alaska. Lord God, raise up apostles. Raise up apostles in that nation. Let your wind begin to blow from Alaska to the rest of the nation of Father God. We bless Alaska. And we ask that, Father God, may your word be fulfilled, that Alaska is the Alpha and Omega, it's the beginning of all things. Lord God, we thank you that even as we start this prayer for the 50 states of, of America, that it is already done. That, that from state to state, we shall take victory from the evil altars that have hitherto controlled and managed to reign in America. We thank you, Lord, for the revival move. We thank you, Father God, for right leadership. We thank you, Lord God, for a return to your word, the true gospel. We thank you, Father God, that the churches starting from Alaska will no longer be a slumbering church, but it will be a church that is activated by your presence and by the grace that you've released upon this ministry, Jennifer Leclerc Ministries, to pray and to intercede for not just America, but the nations of the world. We bless your name, Lord, and we call it done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. There you go, Lonnie. Go ahead from Bulgaria. <laughs> and everyone interrupt, thanks. Okay, so Lord, I just thank you so much, Father. Um, Father, I just want to... Yeah, I just want to just pray that, Father God, I just saw like, like clouds, like cover. Lord, I just pray that you would raise up the worshipers, Father, that will just worship in spirit and in truth. Yeah, God, because you're seeking such to worship you in spirit and in truth, Father, in prophetic worship, Lord, to begin to, uh, you know, dissipate whatever that is, that cloud cover, Father God, for your honor and glory. Father, that you would create an open heavens, Father God, for your children, your sons and daughters to hear you, to see you. You said in your word that without, uh, where, where there's no vision that the people cast off restraint and they perish for lack of knowledge. And Father, I pray, God, that they would uh, receive your vision, God, your counsel, uh, righteous counsel, righteous advisors. And Father, that you would release your vision like our sister was prophesying there 
um, God, that you would raise up this, this would be a place of uh, the raising up of company of prophets, Lord. It feels like there might be a dry dryness there in that area. So Lord, Lord, we just say, let there be rivers in the desert, Lord. Let there be water where there is no water, Father God. Yeah, Lord, let the people receive this divine intel and refreshing God. Um, Lord, we just, 2 Chronicles seven fourteen. when your people who are called by your name will humble themselves, pray and seek your face, turn from our wicked ways, then you will hear from heaven, you will forgive our sin and heal our land. So, Father, we praise you, Lord God, uh, seeking your face and intimacy, Lord, that you will forgive us and heal us and heal that land, Lord. We're turning, we're repenting, turning from that stuff. We were talking about it, idolatry, Lord God, seeking the true and the living God, Father, just, just worshiping you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, Father God. And like our sister was praying, just bring in the fivefold God and and set up the word, the uh, the preaching. The word says, "How shall they people hear without a preacher?" So, Father, we just pray, God, that yeah, the name of Jesus will be the banner over this place, Lord. The banner over them is love, and Father God, that you will send those prophetic pioneers to just begin to plow that territory, God, and. Um, yeah, that people's scales will the scales will be off their eyes and there will be freedom, God. And I felt just like heavy, like my eyes felt heavy with tears when I first logged in. And so, Father God, I just pray that you would heal, God. You would heal people's souls, their hearts, their minds, Lord God, from um from depression, God, like Apostle was talking about there, uh, because of the climate and whatever, but the spiritual climate too, God. We just pray that people will be healed. Uh, saved healed delivered when they're uh, ready for it lord god on mass in that territory father god and that you will wash their eyes uh lord god uh with tears lord of intercession and turning to the true and the living god and i've heard it said before wash our eyes from witchcraft lord that you'll wash it wash our eyes wash their eyes with with your tears god and may their eyes be clear for your vision and new vision in jesus name amen Heavenly Father, Lord God, we come before you, Lord God, gracing your throne, Lord God, with humble hearts. Heavenly Father, we seek your mercy and your compassion for those in Alaska who are lost, unreached, and deceived by the enemy's eyes. Lord God, we lift them up to you, knowing that you are the way, the truth, and the life. Father God, we pray that you would reveal yourself to them, Lord God, and draw them into your saving grace. Father, may they encounter the transformative power of your word and experience the freedom that is found only in your son, Jesus Christ. Father God, we bring the unbelievers to you, Lord God. We pray fervently that, Lord God, we know that it's your desire that no one should perish, but all should come to the repentance, Heavenly Father. And we ask, Lord, that you remove the veil from their hearts and open their spiritual eyes, Lord God, to see the glorious light of the gospel of your son, Jesus Christ. Father God, soften their hearts, Lord, and grant them the faith to believe in you and to receive the gift of salvation. Father in heaven, Lord God, we intercede for the wicked, those who have turned away from your wicked, your righteous ways, Lord God. We pray that you would convict them of their sins and bring them to a place of godly sorrow that leads to repentance. Father God, help them to recognize the destructive path, Lord God, that they are on and turn their hearts back to you. Father, because you are patient and you are gracious, Lord God, and you don't desire the death of the wicked, but you desire their repentance. Father God, we bring the blind before you, those that are spiritually and physically blind, Lord God. We cry out to you, Heavenly Father, because you're the one that opens the blind eyes, Lord God, and you set the captives free. Father God, we pray for those who are blinded by the God of this age, that you will shine the light of your truth into their darkness. Father God, bring revelation and understanding to their minds that they may see the beauty of your salvation and the path of righteousness. Gracious Father God, we lift those up who are ensnared by addiction, bound by drugs and alcohol. Father, we know that in you that there is deliverance and there is healing. Father, we claim the promise of Isaiah 61 and 1, Lord God, that you have sent Jesus to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to set those who are bound free. Father God, we break the chains of addiction in their lives, and Lord God, we pray that the necessary resources and support is provided, Lord God, to bring them from a place of, of addiction to a place of freedom. Lord God, we bring the homeless before you, and we pray, Lord God, that 
provision is made and shelter is made for them, Lord God. You are a God that cares deeply for the vulnerable and the needy, Heavenly Father, Lord God. And we just ask you to open doors, Father God, and lead them to safe heavens where they can find refuge and support. Lord, we ask you to show them your love, Heavenly Father, through compassionate hearts that they may experience your care and be restored. Father, Lord, we bring the brokenhearted before you. We ask you to comfort them in their pain and their sorrow, Lord God. You are near to the brokenhearted and you save those who are crushed in spirit. Father, we ask you to pour your healing balm upon their wounded souls and bring restoration and hope to these individuals. Father God, we bring the leaders before you, Heavenly Father, Lord God. We just ask you, Lord God, to touch their hearts, Father God. I ask you, Lord God, to give them a heart of you, Heavenly Father, that they would lead with the heart of the people and lead with the heart of you. Father God, we ask you, Lord God, to strengthen their resolve, Lord God, as they as leaders move in their region and the, the, those that are of faith hold fast to their faith as they operate in the political scene. Father God, we come against all demonic activity and all criminal activities that are existing in the state, Lord God. We come against all the drug trafficking, Father God, the sexual violence, the human trafficking, all these things that are existing in their state, Father, we come against it now, Father God, and we pray for deliverance. We pray for change. We pray for just a freedom, Lord God, for those that have been bound. Father God, we uh, we come to you, Lord God, asking you to empower the leaders, the churches that do exist in, in Alaska right now, Father God, to, to, to find creative programs, Lord God, strategic operations within their communities, Lord, because so they can draw in the individuals, provide programs and things that, that are needed in these communities, Lord God, for the individuals to be drawn in, to come and be part of their membership. Father God, we just ask you, Lord God, to raise them up, Heavenly Father God, to be the beacons of hope in their communities as you have called the church to be. Father, we come before you and we thank you, Lord God, as we pray these things in the name of your son, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 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 Crystal in Bermuda, are you still there? <clears throat> yeah, so I'm still here. Okay. You want to pray? Sure. Father God, we just lift up Alaska before you, God, and I just speak healing over that nation, God. I just pray, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would release your power over that nation in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would set the captives free, God, that you would bring a deliverance in that nation by your mighty power and by your mighty hand, God. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would strengthen and encourage even in that nation in the name of Jesus Christ, and I just come against any plan of the enemy, any attack of the enemy that would try to come in and through that nation, we cancel it now and plead the blood of Jesus Christ against it. And I just decree and I declare victory over Alaska. I decree and I declare breakthrough over it right now in the name of Jesus Christ, God. I pray that you pour out your spirit upon that nation by your power in the name of Jesus Christ, God, that you would raise up sons and daughters, God, to be on fire for you to serve you, God, to live for you, oh God, to worship you, oh God, like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God, we pray in the name of Jesus for an infilling of your Holy Spirit in and through the nation and then through the people's lives in Alaska, in the name of Jesus. God, send your fire, send your anointing, your anointing power that destroys every yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. So God, we thank you, God. We give you praise and we give you the glory because there is nobody like you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. So God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would hear the cries of the people in that nation of Alaska. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus that they will encounter you. They will encounter your presence, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that whatever needs they have, God, I pray for miracles to manifest that you would supply their needs according to your riches and glory in the name of Jesus. You release supernatural breakthrough in and through their lives in the name of Jesus Christ, God. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus that they will see your signs, miracles, and wonders in and through that place of Alaska in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank Thank you, God. We give you the glory and we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Crystal, amen. Anybody else? 
Father God, we ask that you would send revival to Alaska, Lord. Let your spirit fall upon the state of Alaska, Lord. Lord, soften their hearts, God. Remove the heart of stone, Father God, and give them a heart of flesh, Lord. Father God, give them dreams and visions of you, God. Even let them hear a song that reminds them, Lord Jesus, of you, Father. Lord, Father, I pray that you would open the four winds of heaven, God, and pour out your spirit upon the state of Alaska, God. Oh, Lord, Father, send the harvesters to Alaska, Father God, the laborers. God, you said the harvest is plenty, but the labors are few. God, send the perfect labors into Alaska, God. Lord, raise up intercessors, God. Lord, raise up the watchmen, God. Wait, raise them up, God, to proclaim your words, to intercede, God, on the behalf on, on Alaska, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, I ask that you would give the ones that are persecuted a more boldness, God. Give them an increased boldness, God. Proclaim your gospel with boldness, with signs and wonders that follows, God. And Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over them, Father. Father God, we say that no weapon formed against them shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and Lord, we thank you, God, for the revival that's going to be taking in Alaska, God. We thank you, God, that it's going to be a ripple effect going down, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we give you the glory, we give you the honor and the praise. Amen. Amen. Somebody else want to jump in? Candace, go ahead. Yeah, um, uh, precious Jesus, I am so thankful to be able to stand with you in intercession today for your beloved state, Alaska. You love Alaska. Like the precious intercessor said, you prophesied Alaska is your alpha and your omega state. And, and we're all very conscious and the prophets are telling us that there's a very possibility that we could be looking at World War III, Lord God. And I know in World War II, the Japanese actually uh, took over an island off of Alaska. They occupied American souls, uh, soil and they took 40 pe 42 people to Japan and forced them into forced labor. Father God, Alaska. Alaska is an entryway into the United States, Lord God. They are they are uh, separate from us, but they can easily come around, Lord God. So, Father God, I'm asking for divine intervention for Alaska, Lord God. Put a wall around the islands and all the way around Alaska, Lord God. Give their leadership, their governor, their uh, all the leadership of Alaska. Give them wisdom, Lord God, and discernment, Lord God, on how to protect Alaska, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, I join all the other intercessors. Bring revival to Alaska, Lord God. Bring them revival, Lord. They are your beloved. You love them. And Lord God, we I know you want your very best for them. And we thank you for Alaska. We thank you for the beauty of Alaska, Lord God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Anybody else want to jump in? Father God, I come before you, Lord. I come, come before your mighty matchless throne of grace, Father God, in thanksgiving, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for allowing us, Lord, to come together, Father God, as one body, Lord, to uplift, Father God, the state of Alaska, Heavenly Father. I come before you, Father God, uplifting my brothers and sisters, Father God, in the state of Alaska, Lord, I come before you asking, Father God, that there be revival, Lord, that you allow, Father God, the Davids, the Debras, the Esthers to arise, Father God, with boldness, Lord, that there be, Father God, a movement, Lord, for you, Father God, that there be, Father God, a hunger, a stirring, Father God, a thirst, a passion, Lord, for the things of you, Heavenly Father, for you, Father God, for your word says, Lord, that every knee shall bow, that every tongue shall confess, Father God, that you are Lord, Heavenly Father. 
We thank you, Father God, for allowing us, Lord, to uplift them, Father God, for your word says, Lord, that where there is two or three gathered in your name, Father God, you are in the midst of, Lord. And we know, Father God, that you will make way out of no way, Father God. We know, Lord, that you are going to show up and show out, Father God, for Alaska, Lord. We come against, Father God, drug addiction, Lord. We come against, Father God, the spirit of division, Heavenly Father. We come against, Father God, the spirit of unbelief, Father God, of anger, Lord. We come against, Father God, every spirit, Lord, every chain that's not of you, Father God. We ask that you break it, Lord, that it come off of them, Father God, that there be a true, Father God, genuine repentance, Lord, in the state of Alaska, Father God. We cover their borders, Father God. We ask that there be a special hedge of protection, Father God, that your angels, Lord, encamp around the state of Alaska, Father God. In Jesus' mighty matchless name, Lord, we pray, Father God, standing in each and every promise, Lord, Standing each and every promise, Father God, knowing, Lord, that your promises are yes and amen, Father God, thanking you, Lord, for what you are doing in Alaska, Father God, thanking you, Father God, for everything that you have done, Lord, in Jesus' mighty matchless name, I pray, amen and amen. Amen. <clears throat> uh, Veronica. You gotta unmute yourself, sweetheart. Thank you, Father, for tonight. Thank you because we gathered tonight, Father, to pray for Alaska, Father. I ask you, Father, that you turn, Father, to all the mothers and father, Father, that right now at this moment, Father, I choosing abortion, Father, because Alaska, Father, is a, is a pro-abortion, Father. So I ask you, Father, with that the blood of Jesus will cover each woman and each man, Father, that at this moment, Father, there are a state, a state standing in outside an abortion clinic, Father, that your Father, the blood of Jesus will cover each clinic, Father, and they will close the doors, Father, because you are the father of marriage, you are the father of life, you are the father who brings life into the innocence, Father. So I ask you, Father, that you will close, Father, the doors of abortion in Alaska, Father, and then Alaska will turn into a state of pro-life, Father. I ask you, Father, yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, the salvation, Father, the salvation of your son, Jesus, will touch the hearts of each woman and each man, Father. Yes, Father, your life will be over Alaska, Father, and everybody will turn the eyes to you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, yes, Alaska will be pro-life, Father. Alaska will receive the salvation of Jesus Christ, Father, and the blood of your son, Father, will cover the whole state in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen, Veronica. It's good to see you, sweetheart. <laughs> Anybody else want to jump in? Father, we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you for this opportunity that you gave us, Lord God, to join forces, Father, for this family, for oneness and for unity in your body, Father. We lift up the church in Alaska, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing over there, Father. We thank you for revival. We thank you for saved souls, Lord God. We thank you for fertile ground, Father. Father, as we were praying, I could see two strongholds, Lord God. I saw a big bear and a little bear in Alaska, Father. We bind every spirit of evil, Lord God, every spirit of witchcraft, Lord God that has taken root in Alaska, Father, we pray, Lord God, that you would come and you would redeem, Father, that you would redeem Alaska, Father, that you would re redeem the gifts, Lord God, that you have given to Alaska, the people in Alaska, the natives in Alaska, Father, we bind every curse that has been released through their mouths, Lord God, we bind every power and authority that has taken hold of every high place, Father, and we declare, Lord God, that you are the king of kings over that nation, Lord God, over that country, over that state, that you are the Lord of lords, Father, and we exalt your name on high, Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord God, for the, the redemption of the arts, the redemption of the schooling or the redemption of the seven mountains, Father. We just pray, Lord God, that you would raise up leaders that fear you, leaders that love you, leaders that know you, Father, leaders that are led by your Holy Spirit, Father. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you for the armed forces that are over there, Lord God, as an army wife, myself, Father. I lift them up to you. I pray, Father, that you raise intercessors through the army, Father, that they would not just be a physical army, but that you would raise up an army of God, Father, in that place, Lord God. We thank you for revival, Father. We thank you for purity of heart, purity of soul, Lord God. 
We thank you for unity in the families over there, Father. And we bind our God every work that does not belong to you, Father. Lord, Father, we repent for the spirit of greed, Father, that has always um, been connected to Alaska, Father, because of the gold and the gold rush, Father. We repent for all the sins that were committed, Father, in that land. Father, and we just pray, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit would just come in, Father. And I see Alaska being the gate of the north, Father. And I declare, Lord God, that this is not only the gate for evil, Father, but it will be the gate for your spirit to come in through the north, Father. And we just pray, Father, that you set angels, Lord God, to protect that state, to protect that people, Father. Father, we bind the spirit of dead works in the church, and we declare, Lord God, that your spirit moves powerfully, Lord God. Father, we just thank you for revival. We thank you for what you are doing, Lord God. We thank you for your mercy over America, over the United States, Lord God. And we just bless, bless your work, and we release blessing, Father. We declare that blessing is so much more powerful than the curse, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for raising up people that love you that fear you, and that holiness, Lord God, will be established in their hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Anybody else? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Angel. Okay. Father God, I pray today for the leadership of the state of Alaska that scales may be removed off their eyes and ears and they can be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, the unction of the Holy Spirit. And if there are things, Father God, that are hidden in the agendas of the enemies, they will be exposed, Father God. And the Holy Spirit can clear those out, Father God. And I bind every passive spirit of the leaders and the heads of households of families, Father God. We just pray, Father God, that they will have fresh manna delivered into their spirit and they will stay sensitive to the Holy Spirit, Father God. They will see mindsets and routines father god that are not of you father god and they will reconcile themselves back to you we pray that the holy spirit will re reveal boundaries that have been set up by the enemy father god and that the people of alaska and that the leadership of alaska will walk into their spiritual rehoboth mind mindset and they will have a wide open space father god Father God, we also pray for those who are under demonic attack. We pray a hedge of protection around them and their families. And we remind them today that you are a God who is mighty to save. Give them the revelation, Father God, that if you be for them, who can be against them? Amen and amen. Amen. Anybody else? So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we call on the army of the Lord within the borders of Alaska to receive a revelation of their spiritual authority to govern in the heavens in the name of Jesus. God, remind them to put on the whole armor of God in the name of Jesus. Help them, Lord, strengthen their resolve to stand and withstand in the evil day. And when they've done all to stand for righteousness, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, cause them to have the wherewithal. Give them a face like flint. Get a backbone is still in the churches in Alaska to rise up, bind the devil, and cast him out in the name of Jesus. Let your army arise in the name of the Lord and bind every strong man standing against Alaska. We stand with them, God, but we're asking you to raise up the watchmen, to raise up the prayer warriors, to raise up the prophetic intercessors who are in that territory in the name of Jesus, to come against every strong man, every demonic guard that's holding back the destiny of Alaska in the name of Jesus, to tear down every high thing, every throne, every power that has exalted itself against the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus. Father, help them to re Remember to wage war with the prophetic words that have been spoken over Alaska. We decree and declare that every prophecy spoken over Alaska shall come to pass. We stand for it. We'll pray it through God. But Lord, Lord, raise up the remnant in Alaska. We know that they are there. I know some of them, and I'm asking you, Lord, to, to spark in them a new fervor. Lord, let the church in Alaska be mobilized, rise up, and push back 
back the darkness in the name of Jesus. Let them war against the strongholds in the land with a mind of hope and anticipation that the Lord's will shall be done in the name of Jesus. Let them rise up and shift every dark spiritual climate in the name of the Lord. Help them, Lord. Give them the confidence and the wherewithal to pull down every stronghold and to enthrone you in the name of Jesus. You are the Lord of Alaska. We pray now and we decree and declare that every agenda against Alaska, every uh, enemy military force that is even thinking about rising up and coming through Alaska, you are bound in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare every enemy of Alaska will bow to the name of Jesus. Every open door is closed in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for the reinforcements you have sent today to stand with Alaska. I thank you, Lord, that we are one United States, that as goes one, so go the others. When one suffers, we all suffer. We are, in essence, a body, a nation, one for all and all for one, a liberty and justice, yes, for all. So, Father, I thank you that in these next elections, you will rise, raise up righteous rulers who will stand against evil and stand for good in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that as uh, Agnes from Uganda prayed, that every evil altar will be uprooted and destroyed in the name of Jesus. All corruption, let it be exposed in the name of Jesus. And we loose your blessing on oh, Alaska, the blessing of the Lord. We loose your blessing, your financial blessings. God, let that state prosper. We loose your blessing of health. We will not forget our covenant benefits. Loose healing and, 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 and deliverance over those in this state who are down and out. God, bring them up and over. Help them to stand and withstand for what is right. For this state is pivotal. It is the alpha and the omega of the nation. It is a gateway. It is uh, our, uh, our, our, our our, 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 our crown, one of our crown jewels of our United States. And so we give you the praise and honor and glory in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Praise God. Listen, guys, next week, we're going to pray for Alabama. I think it's the same time, same place. We'll probably have a little bit more participation. Uh, we do have a new prayer hub leader in Alaska. Uh, I don't know that she's here. I'm not sure if she finished her orientation. We used to have a prayer hub leader in the North Pole, and then she moved or something happened. We have a new prayer leader in Alaska just in time. They need our help. I was just talking when I was in Dallas uh, with uh, Apostle Eleanor Roll. She uh, has the uh, Alaskan Kingdom Network that's a prophetic and apostolic council there and they're doing a great work they were just praying uh on top of the world yesterday and so they're doing a great work there and mobilizing and uh hopefully uh we'll be able to partner more with her there going forward she's a mighty woman of god she's got a great crew there um so we will be i believe it's next tuesday alabama and then we'll probably start praying them in order join when you can tell your friends about it we believe this is pivotal it's not just about the elections it's about you know the terror it's about, you know, the economy. It's about a lot of things. And for those of you joining from other nations, Japan, Africa, uh, um, uh, Australia, uh, I see uh, uh, a few others there. Uh, we are planning prayer campaigns for your uh, regions, your continents for the next year. And some of you can give me some ideas there as well of how we can better stand together as a family, a prayer family and a prayer army in the nation. So thanks for joining. And I'll see you tomorrow morning on the prayer call. And if you're not on, then happy Thanksgiving for those of you in America and uh, the rest of you, God bless you. Have a breakthrough night. God bless you. Thank God you, Apostle. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Bye -bye. Thanksgiving. Bye. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Apostle. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Bless you all. Oh, Thanksgiving. Thank you. Bye-bye.